In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how I paint rust. There's a couple things to go over first. First of all, you need some paint. And you need at least three colors of rust. You need a light, fresh rust, a medium rust color, and then a dark rust. Now, this dark rust, I actually prefer this black-brown but I'm switching over to complete MIG paint once I use up my Vallejo and AK paints I'll be replacing those with MIG paints and there's nothing wrong with Vallejo or AK it's just that I prefer to use the MIG paint so whatever your favorite brand of paint is they're gonna have rust colors so you need at least three Old rust, fresh rust, and then an intermediate color. Another thing you need is a good paintbrush with a fine tip. Getting ready to start applying some rust. Now the question is, how much rust? Well, I'm just going to go with it and see what feels right. Or my rust. I'll start out with the the brighter rust and work to the to the dark colors you know when I do this I don't I don't get too worried about it because I figure if I mess it up well, I can always repaint the building so so I don't get too stressed about it And rust is pretty darn random, so it's kind of hard to do it wrong. Part one of the rust, I have it on this side of the roof, and it looks pretty awful. Let's move on to step two, the next darker rust shade. All right, so I'm going to go around. And fill inside this light rust and get this second layer of color on. Color number two is on the rust. Now I'm going to go to the, the final color, which is called Old Rust. And that's going to take up most of these large orange panels here will be filled in with that old rust. I'm going to leave little bits of the other two colors peeking out here and there. Well, I have the rust done on one side of the warehouse and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'll move on to the other side. All right, the first thing we need to do is set the outline for our rust. Now, depending on how you're going to do your rust, if you're going to use some of the really dark old rust, you don't need to fill your area completely in with the light rust color because you're going to cover most of it up. But in this instance, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Now you can use some photographs as a go-by, but if you choose to just wing it, rust is pretty random, so it's, it's hard to do it wrong. And if you're a modeler that's new to painting rust, don't be intimidated by it. All right, so we're going to start with that. We got our first color down. And now I'm going to move to the medium rust color. So now I'm going to apply this darker rust. And 
And when I do this, I try to think about, okay, where will this panel rust out first? And so I'm thinking, well, this panel is rusting out up here where the cap is and then proceeding downwards. All right, I've let this paint dry for just a couple minutes. And here's where our fine tip brush comes in. We're going to do some fine painting, spec painting. And this takes a little bit of a light touch, but it's not difficult. You just need a little bit of practice. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll let that dry for a moment. All right, now in this instance, I'm using the MIG Old Rust. Now this isn't the darkest rust color we have. That's the German Black Brown is the darkest color. But in this instance, this MIG Old Rust will be fine. Again, you want to be a little bit with a light touch. That's where a fine tip brush comes in handy. And, you know, maybe I want to put a little bit of, a little more rust, a little more old rust in here. So there's our rusted corrugated metal. And now we're going to do a different type. Now this time, starting out with my light rust, and I'm brushing it right up to this overlapping seam. Right now, in this instance, I only have to paint the outside. So you see, I've tried to come down in this groove all the way down. Same over here, all the way down. And all I need to do with this is just paint the outside edges. Now I'm going to go to the medium rust color. and blend it in to the light rust. So the light rust is still wet and I'm just dabbing in I'm just dabbing in the medium rust. Again I'm using the fine tip of the brush to try and put small specks of the medium rust color inside the light rust. Let's see how that looks. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this German black brown. Now this is really dark rust, old rust. 
All right, here we go. So now I'm putting in the MIG Old Rust. And I'm trying to take the old rust up to the edges of the light and medium rust. So just a small amount of the light and medium rust shows. All right, so I think I'll go ahead and go with that. So in this panel, we use four different colors. Okay, so there's our rusty panel. Go over to this side here, work on it. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's rust is pretty random, so you don't need to get too uptight about it if you think it doesn't look quite right. Or now I'm using the medium rust color, you know, and always work light to dark. And once you have the the light rust color on, it's then it gets pretty easy because all you got to do is fill in with the darker colors. I add my, my old MIG rust, my MIG old rust. Now you see the two different types of rusting we did here. We have old rust, newer rust. It's not new, new, but it's newer. And now for the last type of rust we're going to add on here is the fresh rust, a panel that's just starting to rust. All right, so I'm going to start with some fresh rust, you know, the, the light rust color. And now I'm just going to add little specks of the light rust. All right, now I'm going to add just a little bit of medium rust, just a little bit. Okay, so you can see how that panel, we got that panel starting to rust. So we got a heavily rusted panel, a panel that's pretty fresh, but with some, some longer, older rust in here. 
I mean, this is obviously old rust. This panel rusted out almost immediately. And this one, and this one here is just starting to rust out. So here's the side we've been working on. I'll flip it over. Now this side I already have done. And you can see the type of rust I have here. Now this is all just acrylic paint. I'm going to use MIG Satin Lucky Varnish. This is an acrylic varnish. So that will protect my paint well when using oil paints on top of it. I put three colors of oil paint on this piece of cardboard and you can see the cardboard is already starting to pull out the linseed oil from the paint. I'll let this sit on the cardboard for about an hour. After that the linseed oil will be mostly pulled out and if I don't do that the paint just takes forever to dry. Now the burnt umber I will use for grime the burnt sienna, the cadmium red, cadmium yellow, I'll use these three colors to mix up different hues of rust. I'm going to use these three brushes. Now this I'll use to apply the paint to the models and then I'll use these two brushes for streaking. I have some odorless terpenoid here. I'll use as a thinner. Got my palette. Got an old popsicle stick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wash for grime. Not going to get to the rust quite yet. So I add some Odorless terpenoid. I use this as a wash for my grime. Now I'll start adding the grime and I'll apply it right underneath edges. Like I'll put it underneath this edge, underneath this edge. Now I'll take this brush, I'll get it damp, not wet, but damp. Now the ribs on this roofing material make it a lot easier to pull it down vertical, but you always want to make sure your streaks are vertical. So I'll go ahead and apply it here. brush, pull it down, And if I feel I have it a little bit heavy, a 
I can wipe off my brush and pull a little more of the paint out. I've mixed up some bright orange. I'm going to apply that just a little bit at the bottom of my rust. All right, take my brush, it's damp with thinner. Run my rust streaks down. I'll continue that for the areas where I have rust. In here, a little bit here, and where the the rust run down with the water. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you found these techniques useful. And these rust techniques can be used on anything that's steel. It doesn't have to be a corrugated metal building. It could be anything. It could be tanks. It could be, you know, any sort of steel structure. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's steel, they all kind of rust the same way. So you would use these same methods regardless of what you're modeling. So thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. Hope to see you again.